Good evening and welcome to Really Important Press News. My name is James Wolfe and here are today's top stories. The Department of Transport wants all Uber drivers to be accountable to the tax department and to release their full GPS tracking information, presumably to check that they are following full Department of Transport regulations of being lazy, unreliable, dirty, expensive and out of service. And in further transport news, the new bus timetable system has been delivering as fewer services as up to seven years ago proving that the Department of Transport is also horribly out of date. And it transpires that government figures given to the competition watchdog regarding fuel prices have been fraudulent. The government has been comparing Australian regular unleaded fuel prices to foreign premium fuel prices in a bid to prove that their prices are in fact lower than they are. Thank God we removed Saddam Hussein so that we don't have a bunch of money grubbing, lying, cheating, terrorist bastards jacking up our fuel prices for no reason. And in entertainment news, Margot Robbie begins filming her new project today, a Tonya Harding biopic. Well wishes adorn the streets, wishing her luck, bringing new meaning to the phrase, break a leg. And now we go to Chuck's steak for our sports report for the week. What's happening in sport, Chuck? Thank you, James. My name is Chuck Steak, and in high octane sports action this week, the Mount Fargo Worms have defeated the Cucamonga Enemas 71-42, huge victory for them, huge upset victory, brings them within just two points of the second place holders, the Point Ahab Blowholes, and four points of the leaders of the competition, the Moisture Falls Entendres. Good work, boys. Keep it up. Now, in other international sporting news, the international pole voting community is negotiating a deal with the Viagra makers in order to keep equipment costs down. Also, for all you soccer fans out there, Soccer players internationally are being warned to try and wear padding on themselves so they do not damage the grounds when they fall over. You know, when they get tripped and stuff. And finally, golf has been banned. My name is Chuck Steak, and this has been your Sports Report. Back to you, James. Thanks very much for that, Chuck. And after yesterday's hot, hot weather, we go live to Little Frankie to hopefully some cooler weather this evening. Frankie, are you there? Frankie? Uh, oh. Frank? We'll return to weather a little bit later on with Frankie and catch up with him another time. That's just about all we have time for today. Thank you very much for watching. My name is James Wolfe. This is the really important press news. And remember, pay attention, Brisbane.